What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer has returned for the weekend. So we're back at the tower and let's take a look at Zer's inventory for this week on week number 43. He's in this corner at the entrance of the hangar. So here's his inventory for the weekend. Starting off on the Titan, we have an insurmountable Skullford exotic helmet. Uh, this one's special perk is Stormfist kills regenerate health and spawn with melee energy. Pretty average helmet. I'd recommend other Titan exotics over this one. If you're looking for a good Titan exotic to use, um, I'd recommend Helm of Saint 14 over this. So you can try to get that with the engram that he's selling since it's a helmet again. Or um, Armamentarium or Crest of Alpha Lupi are also good choices for the Titan in the exotic armor slot. Uh, for the Hunter, we have the Lucky Raspberry chess piece, um, full intellect, really decent stat row actually. And this one's special perk is Arc Bolt Grenade Chains Further and Spawn with Grenade Energy. Really solid chess piece, especially for Crucible. Um, spawning with Arc Bolt Grenade is really good if you're using Blade Dancer. Also, um, your Arc Bolt Grenade Chains Further, which is really good. You can get more uh, people off of it if it chains off of someone else, so it's really good. Really solid chess piece. I recommend it 100% for hunters if you play a lot of PvP. Uh, for the Warlock, we have the Apotheosis Veil. Uh, this one special perk is activating your super regenerates your health. Uh, pretty decent helmet overall. I utilize it more in PvE than I do in PvP, but it's an average one. It's a pretty good one. I'd recommend it if you're looking for a solid helmet for a Warlock. For the weapon of the week, we have the Universal Remote. Primary shotgun. This one's perks are range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down the sight. And also it has crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. Um, kind of an average exotic uh, to use your exotic weapon on. But it's pretty fun to use because shotguns are always fun sometimes. Especially in PvE since shotgun damages got a boost um, in a previous patch a while ago now. But it's pretty fun to use. Um, it's a... Average weapon overall, so if you want to pick it up, you can go ahead and do so. And then, of course, he's selling the exotic helmet engram, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm actually going to pick up some of these, and we're going to try test our luck, because I still have yet to get uh, the Hunter one, which is the Celestial Nighthawk, and the Eternal Warrior, which is the um, Titan one. So how much did I buy there? About five there. So we got five helmets total. Let's see what we can get from this. So hopefully I can get lucky on this. I actually have been gaining a lot of modes of light. I have a lot of my other characters as well. So um, I'm actually looking to finally get some of those helmets. Since I've been unlucky in Nightfalls and stuff like that. So here we go for the first one. We get a helmet in most light. That was unfortunate. I already have that one. I actually have all the other old exotics from prior to House of Wolves, so I'm only looking for those two. Second one, we get Mask of the Third Man, another unfortunate roll. Um, uh, third one, we get ATS-8 Arachnid. This is very unlucky, so we got two more. Hopefully, we get some, at least one of them in these next two. Fourth one, we get Obsidian Mine, another unlucky one. And for the fifth one, come on. A Light Beyond Nemesis, so... Really unlucky stuff. That's unfortunate. Uh, the stat rolls on these don't look the greatest either. Yeah, the stat rolls look pretty poor as well. So that was unfortunate for me. Nothing out of those engrams. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.